from the streets to the Dean. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's your brother Khalid from Streets to Dean. And inshallah, we're gonna go out, do some social experiments today. And we're just gonna literally ask people, do you believe in God or not? And then we're gonna hear them out and see what they have to say. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How you doing? You right? Okay, okay, thanks. Cool. We're just doing a social experiment. We're asking people, do you believe in God? And just wanted to hear what people have to say. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Um, the hijab's a bit of a giveaway, but yeah. Um, well, why do I believe in it? It's it's mainly how could you not? I mean, just take a look around us. Just simple things like the weather or a baby being born. When you're so stricken by grief, the idea that there's 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 someone else that you can just give that weight over to, that there's a higher power. I don't know. I've just always believed in it in my entire life. So I think the idea that people just don't believe in God is such a soulless thought. What's next? What keeps you on the straight path? Who, what do you look to when you need guidance and support? And to me, it's always Allah. And it just makes being on this earth so much easier, which is essentially why I believe in God. Okay, good answer. Thank you. And um, thank you for your time. Okay. And it was good. Salaam alaikum. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, brother. We just got a quick question. And we're just going around asking people, do you believe in God or do you not believe in God? I believe in God. Okay. And why do you believe in God? I think it's just a symbol of wider hope and wider, you know, logic and thinking behind making the world a better place. Okay, is there anything else you want to touch up on that? No, that's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your thank answer. You. Yes, brother, we got a quick question. We're just asking people, do you believe in God or do you not believe in God? I believe in God. Oh, is it? Alright, cool. And uh, what makes you believe in God? I think it's the feeling inside. I feel like not a lot of, like, obviously I've been raised a Muslim, but I feel like everything that was raised and taught, it didn't, nothing like really added up because it was something that I've been taught, you get what I'm saying? So, it was only when like I fell into depression and like I was going through shit in life that I realized okay cool like let me let me pray and see what it does for me now do you get what I'm saying and the moment I was in prayer and like I actually felt it like I actually like experienced a, a feeling that I can't explain that was inside that's the moment where I realized oh and I really believe in God not like everything I was taught didn't matter that it was just exactly the feeling that I felt at that time that mattered that made me believe in it if that makes sense now I hear you I hear you but is there anything more you would like to express other than your feeling I feel like you can't I feel like you can't force God on people that's one thing I agree with you can't force it it, it has to come from within do you get what I'm saying like it's the same as they explain like you can't force a Muslim you can't force a non-Muslim to become Muslim they have to feel it they have to believe it from within do you get what I'm saying so that's 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 the only thing I would like actually say that's do you get what I'm saying yeah cool thank you bro hello there you alright you okay yes I'm fine good good what's your name my name is Sonia. Sonia, yeah. Okay, nice to meet you, Sonia. Just uh, a quick question. We're asking people, do you believe in God or you don't believe in God? And you do, yeah? Yes, I believe in one God above all religions. And I, I believe, I think it was a very wise comment of Mahatma Gandhi said many years ago that different rivers may mend into the same ocean, which is God, as long as people are good in their heart. Okay, thank you. That was a good answer. Thank you very much. And um, thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, guys, uh, what's your name? Abbaso. Abbaso, yeah. Uh, what's your name? Mustafa. Mustafa. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, just a quick question. Do you believe there's a creator or there isn't a creator? There's a creator. There is, yeah? yeah. What about you? There's a creator. Okay, cool. So I'm going to hear both of you out, yeah? What? All right, prove to me that there is a creator or why do you believe there's a creator? Well, we believe that there's uh, a creator because he's Allah and we, uh, we worship him as a Muslims. So that, that's why you believe there's a creator, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. What about you? Just think like, you know, nothing in this world, like the Big Bang Theory and everything, people believe in that, but like, you know, stuff like this can't happen by accident. Life, plants, like stuff like that. It can't happen by accident. There has to be someone up there. Has to be. Has to be. And that convinces you that there is a creator, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. That's what we wanted to know. But thank you, guys. Uh, for me, yeah, I believe there's a creator. Alhamdulillah, man. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So we just do. Alright, brother. Uh, what's your name, please? Uh, Shamsi. 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 Nice to meet you. I think a lot of people know you. It's good to see you. Is walking by. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. And um, just a quick one. Do you believe in God? And if you do, can you explain to us why? Yes, Alhamdulillah. I believe in Allah. I'm a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. And uh, believe in Allah as the uh, something which is not by necessity. As the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam said, "Kullu mawlud in yuradu al fitra." Every newborn is. Uh, Every child is born with a fitra, natural inclination, meaning uh, as the Nabi said, So his family make him a Jew or a Christian or a fire worshipper. So the scholars mentioned and uh, Nabi وسلم, never said or oh, they make him a Muslim. Because every child is born to believe in the Creator, to submit to the Creator. This is which is well rooted in mankind. No doubt about it. You know? So uh, in the Quran and the, the revelation goes in line with that. It goes in line with our sound reasoning that there must be a creator for this beautiful creation. That's what Allah always in the Quran utilizes 
realize the best and the greatest and the most simple but most powerful intellectual rational argument in the Quran. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Hal ata al insani inu min adari, lam yakun shay al madkura, inna khalaqna al insana min nutfatin, am chajin, am chajin, nabtalihi, fajahanna wa sami'an basira. The meaning of the verse, Allah said, Is it not a time for a man to think? There was once upon a time he was not even a think. Now he can hear and see. No doubt about that. In order for you to have the attribute, must have a creator, you know, that has attribute of hearing and seeing. It cannot come from nothing. As Allah in the other verse mentioned, Am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in, am humul khaliqun. Would they create by nothing or do they create themselves? You understand? So, as Allah subhanahu wa mentioned, we were nothing, now we have hearing and seeing. So therefore, Allah, someone create us and that, uh, the creator must possess knowledge, power, ability as Ibn al-Qayyim, may Allah have mercy upon him mentioned, one of the Muslim scholars. He said, when you reflect upon Allah's creation, you can see there's a wisdom behind it, the effect of wisdom. You can see there's order, organized, program, like our even ourselves knows next to our mouth before we eat to smell the food. Understand? Likewise, you can see the knowledge behind it. Likewise, you can see the ability behind it. So believe in God, something which is well rooted, it goes in line with our sound reasoning and our natural inclination. That's why and so forth for going home. That's why all the prophets and messengers they never came to their people telling them telling them to believe in God. All of them came to call people to worship God alone because mankind are, are well rooted to believe in God. However, because they have a guideline, they start worshiping some one beside Allah, trees or righteous people and so on. This not believing God is something new by the way. You know, it's something new. That's quite deep, man. That's quite <laughs> deep. Well, thank you, Jazakallah. I mean, where you go. May Allah give us sincerity. Anything yeah, else you would like to say before we well, let you go? Before, before I go, my advice to, my, my, to me first and to my brothers and sisters in Islam out there that we have to learn our deen. That's my advice all the time. If you watch my videos, I always ask, I advise the brothers, learn our deen. And we have to understand we live in a time when there's a lot of trials, trials and tribulations. And our Prophet Muhammad alayhi Salam taught us the cure and the disease. So we, because we, I had many Muslims say I'm confused. There's a lot of Muslims, a lot of groups. I mean, there's a lot of groups and so on. I said, don't be confused. I was like that. But when we start seeking knowledge, the Quran, the Sunnah, and understanding Islam according to the companions of the Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam, everything will become clear. Because Al Mustafa, the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, has made everything clear to us. Whatever bring us closer to Allah has told us about it, and whatever turn us away from Allah has warned us against it. So it's upon us. Go back to the Sunnah to find the solution for every situation.